Welcome to Adept Inclus. Let's try some uh, Inclus cardiopharmacology practice question and um, see how usually it will present. I just have one quick question um, to demonstrate. Like I said, sometimes I, these questions just come into my mind. I put it on paper and I share it with you guys. So let's take a look at it. Um, a very classic um, Adept Inclus way of thinking um the same way and you can see i like sata and prioritization question i think is very very important questions uh, for you to feel comfortable so this is a quick question so we will break it down easily select or that apply which of the following need immediate intervention so the answer choice has to be an intervention and then this is caring for five clients. So you have five clients with somebody needing intervention. You, sometimes these are they ask you the question. They don't give you any information. So you have to look at the answers and see what is for each answer, what exactly is the theme. And don't compare any of them. They may have different themes. So don't look at it. So you have a client on what? A myodoron and intractable cough. So this is a, a problem. Number one priority for amiodarone is pulmonary fibrosis. So I call it P-clone, P-C-L-E-N. If, you if you're taking amiodarone, you'll be cloned to death. Where P is the pulmonary symptoms, C is the cardiac, um, and they have other symptoms, neurological, dermatological, um, so a liver function, so the liver function goes up, um, the TSH uh, changes, and your skin also changes. So there is a couple of side effects associated with amiodarone. That is the P-clone. P is the pulmonary fibrosis, and this is the cardiac, this is the liver, and this is the urine, neurological, eye problem, and the skin problem. The most important is the lung problem. So if they have intractable cough, I'm worried they may have developed fibrosis. I'm seeing this patient. A client on digoxin with nausea and diarrhea. One of the earliest signs of toxicity from digoxin is GI symptoms. If you, they give you a question that there's a GI symptoms with the digoxin patient, I'm choosing that great patient. That's a priority right there. A client with a client having nitro patch over a shaded skin area. We know the deal. You can't shave it. Uh, if you do that, you break the skin, and now you can absorb the nitro very quickly. So to intervene, we need to intervene here. A client on nephedipine, nephedipine with grape juice on the dinner trail. Nephedipine is a calcium channel blocker. They should avoid grape juice because it's the same enzyme that breaks grape juice. This enzyme um, blocks the activity of um, the, um, the Fedepine cream. So you should avoid grape juice, especially a bunch of medication that is broken down by the kit, by the liver. So this, uh, it goes to the liver and block uh, a certain enzyme. Um, its name is CYP. 3A4, and this is how they destroy, you try to hold on to that and destroy it. And therefore, um, you have toxicity with the uh, nephedipine and other medications. So you shouldn't take it um, with grape juice at all, absolutely, okay? A client on Metropolo and a heart rate of 61. This is where they try to trick you and you people pick it. Heart rate is what? 61. Is this greater than 60? Yes. They said I, uh, bradycardia is when heart rate is less than 60. I intentionally put it there. If you say 61, don't worry about it. It's not a priority patient. The patient doesn't have bradycardia. Of course, you get the chance to see them and say, why are you not taking your medication? But 61 is still normal. And so don't worry about it at all, okay? Otherwise, um, then you get distracted and you pick an answer that is not the right answer. So um, 
our answers as we've selected one, two, three, four, and this doesn't need immediate intervention. And this is how we do, of course, select or apply in a prioritization question. I call it SATA prioritization because it's very good. It makes you think.